team of fact checkers in Senegal are fighting fake news and, when possible, setting the record straight. Since 2012, Africa Check has been analysing all kinds of online content to debunk conspiracy theories and fake information doing the rounds online. The small team of journalists behind Africa Check now have a growing following. That reportedly includes President Macky Sall. Our correspondents report. Here is where the first team of fact-checkers in Francophone Africa set about debunking online rumours every day. These journalists scour print and online media with a fine-tooth comb looking for fake news. Tips on how to beat diabetes to a so-called vaccine against HIV-AIDS. Today, all eyes are searching for fake health claims. Entirely made-up articles, hoaxes and fake information are rife online. People are told that by eating certain types of fruit and vegetables, meat or spices, they will have a big bottom. It's information that's been shared and relayed several times on social networks to people who believe in it, who share. Once we have the elements that deny the rumour, the false information, we publish it on our site and share it on social networks. Africa Czech also digs deep when it comes to political claims, a time-consuming task that results in just three articles being published per week. People aren't keen when it comes to helping us, because the information they give us and what we publish can make their manager or their minister uncomfortable. The most important thing in the work we do isn't so much to show that this or that person isn't telling the truth, but to give the public the right answer. The fight for good journalism and best practice comes as mobile internet use has led to the explosive growth in the number of sites, blogs and social media accounts. For Senegal alone, there are more than 200 sites dedicated to news in the country. The booms made it difficult to keep track of what's being published online. In Senegal, the law on the so-called press offences, which are basically laws on the dissemination of false information, existed well before the arrival of the Internet. People often spread false information about very sensitive health issues, and no one is prosecuted, nothing happens. Sometimes for a photo, a caricature of the President of the Republic, there are prosecutions. It's rather surprising. It's at the prosecutor's discretion when he does and doesn't prosecute. With less than a year to go until the presidential elections, Internet users fear there'll be an increase in fake news on social and traditional media.